in this lesson we are going to continue working on our character uh, working on the side view to see how we can start creating the side view from the front view so let's get started okay so i've gone ahead to create or to modify this character from what it was before and i've also gone ahead to add a glasses to the character to re uh, further resemble or match the reference image so I'll show you what the how that character looks like. So I've already deleted that of the head mistakenly probably. So uh, we bet it's almost the same thing with the former head that I drew. So uh, we can continue to work on this character. You can see that uh, I'm trying to the character already looks like the reference photo in his childish form all right so i'll move away this preference photo again and i'll continue to work on this character since we don't need this other uh, sketch we can go ahead and delete it even our sketch we can go ahead and delete our skeleton or just leave it that way maybe move it aside all right so we can toggle the visibility off we can continue working on this character now let's see how we can start creating a side view of this character so i'll remove the glasses and look at this character okay see how we can start creating the side view so if we look at this character we can uh, bring in rulers all right rulers this is when we start using our rulers to match up the character so that all the views will be at the same size and at the same height this is one of the ways to make sure that a character resembles itself once it starts to rotate or turn around in all the turn around views that we are going to draw so we can put a, a ruler on the head if you don't have a ruler in the software or program that you are using to follow along you can just simply uh, use your line to and uh, create the same okay this line to is too big so let me create a new layer the weight of the line is um, 20 so i'll reduce it to around three so i'll draw a line here okay move it down my move to move it down and place it on the head i can draw another line i'll continue drawing the line all the lines that i need but since my program photoshop has uh, uh, a default ruler that you can use instead of you uh, stressing yourself to create the lines so i'll use that ruler i'll go to the top and click on the top and drag to bring out a horizontal ruler at the tip of the head one at the tip of the head one at the base of the jaw okay one at the waist around here and at the feet okay so one here all right so actually i need a lot of them to match up all the parts of this character properly with the other views so i will start to i'll continue to place it at strategic points at the, at the tip of the ear at the bottom of the ear and also the the tip of the nose or the bottom of the nose the bottom of the mouth the top of the mouth okay that of the eye bottom of the eye then i'll come down i can place one here the top of the breasts uh, okay so we can leave it as it is for now to make our work easier for us or to make us see our work better we can go to the background remember to unlock your background before you are able to work on it the way you want i can go to my paint bucket go to my color picker and i can change this color this black color to a little bit grayish color close to white i can color it you can see that I'm able to now uh, properly see the lines that I've already uh, traced out on the character by doing just this simple step. All right, so we continue to flesh this uh, the side view. Let's uh, see how we can start working on the side view of this character. Okay, so um, I can look at the head. You know, the front view and the side view are the two views of a character that you need to figure out yourself because the front view might not look exactly the same thing uh, the same with the side view because of the the side of the head so for a baby character the side of the head might be a little bit big or uh, uh, protruded a little bit outwards so let's see how we can uh, match up this character in the side view 
Remember, the front view and the side view take sheer creativity and skill to create. Then the other views are just uh, a little bit easier to create once you have gotten the front view and the side view of this character. So let's continue to work on the side view of this character. I prefer to work directly, to draw the side view directly on top of the front view to help me match up the character better. Okay, so I can come here since the top tip of the eye or the top of the eye and the bottom of the eye have a ruler. So I can come here and define the shape of the eye from here, right? So I can define the shape of the eye of the nose, okay? Alright, so come to the ear. Um, let's see. We can come here and draw this ear. Remember, I'm taking into consideration the the lines that are drew on the front view or the rulers. If you look at the, the rulers very well, you can see that the tip of one of the, the parts of this ruler is at the tip or the top of the ear and at the bottom of the ear. And I'm trying to match the uh, side view of the ear without the front looking at the ruler. So this takes a uh, a meticulous process for you to be able to pull off so i can bring the ear closer to the uh to the uh, back of the head all right so um if you look at the front of the head you can see that it's not supposed to go that far so we can start bringing it in okay you can start bringing it in or should we go i think yeah i think so okay so we remember that the head is supposed to be big because this is a, a child. So um, I can continue to flesh out this guy. Okay, so the ear is supposed to come in front of this guy. Uh, okay. So I'm just trying to, to guess and figure out how this side view of this character is supposed to look like, you know. Like I said, uh, you have to be very, very intentional drawing the front view and the side view of this character, of a character rather, of any character. So um, I can come here, uh, try to see how we can make this lips or this mouth function the way we want. All right, so we can bring down this guy here. So um, trying to see how I can match up the front view with the side view correctly because this thing is uh, takes a lot of time and effort to be able to get it correctly the way it should okay so um, I'm trying to match it up okay sometimes you have to take a look at a reference photo a cartoon photo of a key so in this case I don't have a reference cartoon photo of a key that I can use to uh, look at what I'm doing so that uh, I'll make sure I'm not making any mistake on this guy but uh, let's just continue this way okay so okay so I'm tr still trying to figure out how the side view of this character will be like we can still use our skeleton method to flesh out the side view of this character but it's not going to do us much uh well it's not going to help us that much because we are still going to have to look at the the fleshy part of the face of this character in the front view before we are able or we can be able to get the side view uh, of this of this character so let's uh, rather do it this way so if you look at the tip of the head you can see that uh there's something that here looks a little bit blocky because of the curve on the head okay all right so we have to make this part look a little bit uh, blocky so uh okay so um, okay i think i should uh, do something here okay so we can go down like so all right down like so. and go down like so okay okay continuing 
Just trying to match up this character. Okay, All right. Match up this character. You look a little bit. Oh, uh, we might still need to move it back. You can see that is uh, the side view is a lot of stress, and it's even harder. Proves a little bit more harder, or harder than the the front view part of the character. Let's bring this thing down. See, I'm trying to see if uh, this guy is supposed to be here because uh, somewhere uh, in the front view, you're supposed to start there, then curve down. But if I start from here, okay, that means if I try to draw this curve right here, it's not going to be where it should be, right? So I think it should start from here. That is what I'm looking at, okay. That is what I am looking at. So we should start from here. Then we can start uh, trying to match it all. Okay. We try to match it all. So we can come here where this ruler is and take a curve, another curve, all right, to match this guy here. Then where the next ruler is, you can take another curve, then come here and terminate that curve like so. Okay, so let's say that we, we are done with that, even though we might not be done with that yet. So let's come to the eye. Um, we can create or put a ruler here and here and create our eyebrow to match up the eyebrow in the front view then you come here let's move this guy a little bit fun then you come here and uh, create the eye in the side view looking at the rulers that have been placed in the front view to draw the eye in the side the way it should be now the eye in the side view is not the same with how it should look like in the front view because this is a side view, so you must make the eye to look like it is looking at the side view, looking something at the, from the side view. Um, you can, like I said, you can look at uh, reference uh, photos or images of characters, and uh, it will help you to know how the character should look like in the side view or in the front view. Okay, so. All right, I've created the head of this character in the uh, side view. We can go ahead and uh, start creating uh, the, the body. Okay, we can create a new layer for the body. Okay, so I will stop the lesson here. And in the next lesson, we are going to start creating the body of this character in the side view, just like we have done for the face. So see you next time in the next lesson. And remember to subscribe, share, like this page if you really enjoy these videos and put down some comments in the comment section and let me know what you think about this video, the questions you have for me as regards this video and also the suggestions you want to bring uh, in order to make these uh, lessons better for you and for everyone else. So see you next time and uh, do have a nice day.